Hello and welcome to a very special episode of the Mr. Barton Maths Podcast because for the first time in history, this is actually going out in two formats. So we've got the usual audio, but we're going mental here. We're also doing a video version of this podcast. And if you're listening in audio, there'll be a link to the video in the show notes. Now, how has this come about, I hear you asking? Well, this is all thanks to our mutual friend, Mark McCourt, who I'm calling the deal maker in this, who set me up with OUP and has managed to convince my guest today, Bernie Westcott, to come and record the most visual podcast ever. So, welcome, Bernie. Thank you very much, Craig. Good to be here. I'm absolutely delighted to have you here. And for, for the benefit of the listeners, I'm going to have to describe the scene that's in front of me here. So, we're in the wonderful surroundings of, of the OUP offices. And I've been chatting on this podcast for ages about how I need to get into manipulatives. I don't understand manipulatives. I've never used them. People are telling me they're absolutely brilliant. But I feel I've gone a step too far here because I'm, I'm surrounded by the flipping things. And, and the problem is, I don't really know what I'm looking at. So I'm going to describe what, what's in front of me. And Bernie, just correct me if I've got any of these names right. Yep. Cuisinaire rods, am I saying, firstly, am I saying that right? Correct. Okay, I've <laughs> clocked those. I'm nervous about them already because I don't know what to do with those. I've got some things here which are kind of tiles with kind of circles in them. And they're kind of like Jenga pieces. Now, what, what are you calling these? N they're Numicon. Numicon, God, all right, okay, so I've got those. I've got what looks like some kind of magician's setup here. I've got some cups, plastic cups, red and blue, with some white cubes. Yep. God only knows what's going to happen with those <laughs> later on. I've got what looks like a kind of ice scraper for a, a car with a grid on it and some discs. So that's a 10 frame. 10 frame, yep. okay, fine, perfect. Now, <laughs> I've got what looks like an abacus in kind of a triangular prism shape here. Yep. Is it an abacus? It's or? a wreck and wreck. A wreck oh. and wreck, which is Dutch. Oh, God. Which Re apparently stands for, I thought it was wreck and wreck, but it's uh, reckon to do arithmetic, wreck, so you do arithmetic on a wreck. Jeez, wreck. Or two wrecks, to be precise. Oh, God. Right, okay, so no doubt that's coming into play at some point. Um, and then I've also got some discs in front of me, circular discs, that have got ones on one side, but if I have a cheeky look on the other side, they've got a negative one on yep, the other side. Yeah, that's correct. So, so something's going to happen here. We've got a load of paper, we've got pens, anything could happen here. But Absolutely, and probably will. 